Alright, uh, I was asked to do a quick little tutorial on how to do a parallax looping effect. Um, not a lot of people know, but it's quite simple and it's pretty efficient as well, so I'll go ahead and share that. First thing we want to do, right, is just get something that's locked to the player. So it can be whatever, it doesn't really matter, just make sure it's locked to the player and for infinity. So I'm going to lock that to player 1. And so now, what you want to do is get whatever you want to loop. So whether that's foreground, background, animation, whatever. Make sure it covers the entirety of the screen at one point. So, right, so like if I play it, it's covering the entirety, okay, well, almost the entirety of the screen at one point. I need to extend it a bit, but you get the idea. So once, once it's doing that, right, go to its layer, and you want to put a collision block, like, pretty much in the center of it copy and paste it until it loops oh well hold up until it loops and then give this one dynamic block and a new block ID right and then now make all of this one group one group and then what you want to do is you're going to measure the distance between these two blocks so 20 you can delete that, doesn't really matter. And then, so we're going to do a follow the trigger. So, um, so we're going to have the target group 2 following the one that we have locked to the player X uh, for an infinite amount of time. Now, here's the thing the closer it is to 0, the less it's going to move, right? So, if it's really far in the background, it's so like just a static background, it'd be like negative point one, right? Like this. So that'd be very far in the distance. The higher the negative value, the faster it goes in the foreground. So say I want this one to be in the foreground. So I'm going to do negative two, make sure y is zero. Um, right. So we have that, it's following, and we're going to set up a collision trigger so that... Oh, also, sorry, meant to say this. You're going to get a row of collision triggers, right? all set to the same dynamic group, whatever that may be. Put this on 3, and then lock 3 to player X, right? So when the player is moving, so is the collision box, okay? So now, once you have 1 collide with 2, it will activate this which now you use that measurement so it was 20 so that means it moves 200 instantly and that's for two I think what is this group two yeah two so it, it's spawn triggered multi triggered and this is four right so it's moving to 200 every time these two collide so it's activating four and see it loops infinitely you can't tell and so if I was to do this, give it a different shade, whatever. Um, make it five. Give this a new dynamic block, three. Um, five. I'm going to make this one slower just so you can see the difference. This is going to be 6. So when 3 collides with 2, it will. There we go. Hope that helps. Well, it's broken. <laughs> oh, it's because they share similar groups. Okay, that's, that's on me. I have it locked to player X. Yeah, I, I can fix that. There we go, there we have it. Hope that helps.